Hi dancers, it's Miss Anna. So I'm gonna make a little video for y'all on how we should stretch and practice our dance at home just like you do in class. So first off, make sure you're in nice, good dance clothes that you can bend and move in. I also think it helps to turn on some of your favorite music. I turned on some Disney music because it gets me really excited. We're gonna start just like we do in class with looking up and down, up and down. We're gonna get our neck muscles nice and loose and shake your head side to side like you're saying no. Shake your head no, shake your head no. From there, we're going to tilt our head. And if you can touch your ear to your shoulder, that's great. If you can't, just go as far as you can. To finish warming up our neck, we're gonna circle our head really big. Put your hair in a ponytail and spin that ponytail. Spin that ponytail. From there, we're gonna work on warming up our shoulders. Up and down, up and down. Once again, try to get your shoulders to your ears. If you can't, just go as high as you can. Once that feels nice and good, we're gonna go a little faster. Up and down and up and down and up and down. From there, we're gonna roll our shoulders backwards, all the way back, just like this. Good, now let's go forwards. So you're gonna pull your shoulder back and then push it forward. This should help loosen up your shoulders. Once we're done with that, we're gonna put our hands on our hips and shake. Shake it nice and big. This should make you warm up a little. You should start sweating a little. Try to put as much energy as you can into it. From there, maybe try a little. And then back to big. Now I know that all of you love what comes after this. We put our arms out and we hula hoop. Hula hoop nice and big in a circle. You should try to move just your hips when you hula hoop. Woo! From there, we're gonna touch our toes. We're gonna hold that for one, two, three, four, five. We're gonna reach the sky and jump. We're gonna go back down. One, two, three, four, five. Back up and jump. One more time. Down one, two, three, four, five. Back up and jump. From there, we're gonna keep doing little small jumps and we're gonna pretend we're bunny rabbits. So you wanna bounce using just your feet. Your knees should not bend that much. Just try to push yourself off from your tippy toes and jump. Now that we've done those jumps, we can do the big ones. So you're gonna squat down just like a frog. You're gonna to count to one, two, three, then jump up and touch the sky. Come back down, one, two, three, Jump up and touch the sky. I'm gonna do it one more time, but you can do it as many times as you want. One, two, three. Jump up and touch the sky. Very, very good. From there, we're gonna do some little exercises that'll make you stronger. For this one, we're going to stand up and I'm gonna to turn to the side so you can see it. These are called cap raises, and in ballet, we call them releve. You're going to stand with your feet in first position. Remember, we take our V, open our feet like a book. You just go up and down, up and down, up and down. We're gonna do that 15 times, okay, ready? One, two, three, four, five, Six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, 11, 12, 13, 14, 
15. Very, very good. If you need help and you can't balance, you can get a chair and put your hands on the arm of the chair and go up and down. If once you can balance, you wanna practice staying up for longer periods of time, make sure your back is straight and your head is up. This will help you balance and will help your beautiful ballerina turns look better. Good. From there, we're gonna sit down and start our stretching. First, we're gonna do butterfly. I know y'all like telling me what your favorite color is, so see if you can ask your mom and teach her how to do the stretching. That makes it more fun. So you're gonna flap your wings. We're gonna make those flap for about 15 seconds. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. All right. So from there, we wanna make sure the bottoms of our feet are touching tight together. You wanna pull your feet as close to your body as you can. Take your knees and push them down. You should feel a stretch right here in the big part of your leg, that's called your thigh. So we're gonna stretch just like this for a minute, just by pushing our legs down. It shouldn't hurt too bad, but you should feel it stretch a little. From there, you can do this one of two ways. You can either put your hands on your feet and just go straight down, put your nose to your toes, or you can reach and put your nose to your toes. Either way will stretch. So what we're gonna do is we're going to put our arms out in front right now. This is just one way, like I said, and we're gonna hold this for 20 seconds, okay? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. Very good. From there, we're gonna put our feet straight out in front. You can see I have little tigers and leopards on my socks. We're going to point our toes, flex our toes, point our toes, flex our toes, point and flex, point and flex. Mom and dad, if it makes it more fun, we like to play the pot game. So we put our feet in the toaster. We count one, two, three, then we pop them out of the toaster. One, two, three, pop them out of the toaster. All right, from there, we're gonna put our ankles in a nice big circle, get our ankles nice and loose and ready to dance. Then to stretch, we're gonna point our toes nice and pretty. We need to make sure our legs are flat on the ground. Our knees are touching the ground. They do not look like this. They definitely don't look like this. They should be nice and flat because that gives us the best stretch. All right, we're gonna sit up really, really tall and make our back as straight as we can and then reach for our toes. Remember, we keep our knees flat and if you can't touch your toes, that's okay. Go as far as you can. We're gonna hold this for 20 seconds too. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. From there, we're gonna repeat, but with our feet flexed. Once again, sit way up high, but this time we're only gonna hold for 10 seconds. Reach for your toes, go one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Very good. Kind of move your legs around a little. Get all the soreness out from stretching. From there, we're gonna do our straddle. 
When we do our straddle, we need to make sure our legs are nice and straight again with flat knees. We need to make sure our toes are pretty and pointed. And we can do this two ways. Parents, we do this two ways in class. We either make a rainbow or we make a pizza. And it's really up to your kid, whichever they enjoy. For the rainbow, you just start facing one leg and you go color by color back and forth. So you're gonna go red, hold, orange, yellow, green, blue, purple, pink. Very good. At the end, I like to tell them the tale of how leprechauns live at the end of the rainbow. So we follow the rainbow all the way to the end. And we, for 15 seconds, we try to grab as much gold as we can. So encourage that. If your kid chooses the pizza option, what we're gonna do is we take our hands and we start to roll the dough. We roll the dough all the way out. And then we roll it again. Roll the dough. <clears throat> From there, we put the sauce on. Tell them they can pick whatever color sauce. Encourage them to get creative with their pizza. So from there, we spoon the sauce all on the pizza, nice and slow. Then we put another layer of sauce. Very good. From there, every pizza gets cheese. So we sprinkle the cheese. Remember, it's a big pizza, so you gotta reach as far as you can to sprinkle the cheese. Then we're gonna do one more topping of their choice. I always tell them I like spinach on mine, so we're gonna put our another topping. All right, now that our pizza is finished, we're gonna put it in the oven for 15 seconds. This is where we reach the middle. We're gonna put our pizza in the oven. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. Very good, now we're gonna eat our pizza all up. From there, we're gonna make baby circles with our arms, little tiny baby circles. This controls muscle control, but it also loosens the muscles in the upper arm and in the shoulder. We move up to medium or mama circles, if that's what your kid prefers to call them. And there we make our arm circle as big as we can. And then you're gonna to wanna to do this one backwards as well to really loosen up the shoulders. All right, let's work on some basics. So the basic tap steps, I didn't have my tap shoes before filming this, I apologize. So for tap, the basic steps your children need to go over are heels and back. Heels and back look like this. Our hands are on our hips. We pick our foot up and point our toe, and the metal part of the top of your tap shoe, right here on the toe, should hit the ground behind us. Toe taps, toe behind, toe behind. And we always wanna make sure we're standing nice and tall with our hands on our hips. So those are toes and back. Another important step is heels. For our hands for heels, we make the I don't know hand position. We pick our foot up and flex it and touch our heel, the, the metal tap, to the ground. Heel together, heel together, heel together, heel together. Another important one is toe taps. For toe taps, we're gonna put our arms on top of each other. Your right arm goes out first. Your left arm goes on top. You simply lift your foot and you're gonna tap the front top of your toe on the ground. And we bring it back together. Our arms go back out. Tap, 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 tap. <clears throat> Good. Another crucial one is shuffle steps. To do a shuffle step, they really do need to be wearing their tap shoes for this one so we get the right sounds. When we do shuffle steps, only the tap on the bottom of your toe should hit the ground going back and forth. The only time your heel should hit is when you actually step. Your hands are gonna go to your hips. You're gonna pick your foot up just a little bit behind you, make sure it's nice and flexed. You're gonna brush front, back, step. Front, back, step. And like 
I said, it's your toe hitting the ground. I know it's a little hard to see with the dark socks, but it's front, back, step for our shuffle steps. Another one we need to work on is toe drop. You just put the top, your toe tap on the ground, toe, and then slam your heel down just to make a nice big boom, tap, toe, drop, toe, drop. And then from there, it's really just a combination of the multiple steps. In their dance, they do heel, toe, heel, step, heel, toe, heel, step. Very good. Now let's talk ballet. For ballet, we really need to practice tendus. For tendu, you're gonna start, <clears throat> sorry, with your feet in first position. If they're having first position, I like to explain that you close your feet, you open them like you would a book. They should make a V. For tendu, our arms are gonna come up into first, then out into second. We slide our big toe forward and back slide together and we always return to first position on our tendus slide together slide together they also need to practice tendus other ways too so if we're going to practice to the side and to the back as well i know one difficulty with the back is kids like to pick their foot up and hit it down instead of sliding so once again make sure you practice front side and back tendus and if you can get your kids to focus finish them off each set of tendus with a plie we also do need to work on plies we only do demi in our class which means our knees do not bend more than this your ankles not your ankles your heels should stay on the ground your ankles should not bend too much your plie is just going to be plie and up plie and up Another good thing to practice for ballet is releve, building their balance. One trick I like to teach kids is I tell them to picture a string coming out of the top of their head and pulling them up. It's going to pull their whole body. They need to squeeze their tummy muscles or abs and keep your chin nice and high and looking up. That's going to help with your balance. Those uh, calf raises we did earlier are a great exercise for balance. Start your kid off holding a chair or a table, and then as they improve, have them encourage them to take their hands away. First or second works. Very good. All right, guys, I'm gonna send you another video with your dance and the counts in it. Make sure you practice really, really hard, and I hope you're staying safe and having a great time hanging out with your families. Bye.